Hey, Virgo Sun Rising and Venus. This is what we got going on for January 4th, 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense and much more on my website, tarotbarbie.com. Virgos, let's get a sweetie's coming with the judgment, the five of cups, and the chariot cards. Oh, sweethearts, all right? Some of it here might be a little bit of fearful of success at the moment. Also, Virgos, it's saying that you're not listening to your inner truth. Um... You're not, you're, you're just not listening. Judgment, you're too afraid of taking that leap of faith. You you feel like every single time that you might end up going into a direction in any area of life, it's not going to end up working out for you with the six of wands in reverse there, right? And that's because you guys are still so upset and still crying over spilt milk here, Virgos, from things that had happened in the past there. Start looking at the opportunities that you guys have coming in from behind you so you guys can lift up your head up. You guys are blooming. You guys are beautiful. So cute here as well, Virgos. And they're saying that when you guys get out of this funk that you guys are got, that you guys are in, you guys are going to start moving slowly towards your future star card. They're showing me the song, Virgos. Reach for the stars. <laughs> Hold your head up high. For tonight, cause every night, you're a superstar, and don't you be afraid, look at all the friends you've made, and <laughs> living life, you're a superstar, 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 so you guys are superstars, Virgos, get into your energy, <laughs> or it's an Aquarius, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, you guys are going to continue to move forward, do expect the message coming in from this person, you guys are going to start getting much more balanced here, Virgos, coming with the two of pentacles, some of you guys may have not been financially balanced, but it's saying whatever that financial struggle that you guys was going through, is going to start picking it back up, and you guys are going to become the nine of pentacles, somebody here might be working in the limelight, or the light is literally on you, Virgos, where you can walk into a room, and then just you glow up the whole entire room. That's why the star card is right there. And that's why that song is coming through. That you guys are in fact superstars. So there's nothing for you guys to be afraid. Don't be fearful. Just because all every other areas in your life didn't work. No matter what job that was. What career it was. Maybe you guys got terminated so many times from position to position. And just shit never really worked out. It doesn't mean that this opportunity is not going to work out for you guys Virgos. Come on. Get out of your head. Get out of your feelings instead. <laughs> All right? Because you're a superstar. And you are, in fact, going to be in the limelight. Nine of Pentacles. People are going to adore you. Uh, start start picking yourselves up here, Virgos. All right? It's saying here, put your sword down. Put Enough, Virgos. Put your sword down. Stop being this way. Stop. Um, yo. <laughs> Just stop being this way. And start counting your blessings with the Seven of Pentacles there. Start being grateful and, and start counting your blessings because you guys have got angels here who are going to be coming in to balance everything out for you guys. Coming with the Six of Pentacles energy there. Everybody who deceived you, tried to steal anything from you here, they're not gonna. They're not gonna make it. They're not gonna make a Virgos because whatever it is that they're trying to take away from you, you guys want to defend that with the Queen of Sword energy. But the you know, but the spirits and the angels are saying, "Yo, put your sword down," because we see everything that 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 these people are trying to do to you. We see it. We see it, Virgos. They're they're telling you. The angels are literally saying this to you guys. We see everything that these people have tried to do with you. We we see that they tried to take away your success. They tried to take away your limelight. They tried to take everything that was meant for you. They tried to take that away from. They did not want you to succeed that's just this and and the universe is saying no we're not going to let that happen judgment card is in reverse it's not going to happen oh i just heard it they said you know what we're going to give it to you we're not going to give it to them because whatever these people here tried to think that they were going to be able to take away from you that was meant for you for you guys to be so sad and in your feelings like this it's say like, continue to move forward because this is where you belong you have a prosperous and blessed future ahead of you guys you guys are literally going to become the nine of pentacles people are going to adore you virgos you are going to be so beautiful so handsome in the limelight so successful here too maybe even wealthy at the same time because at the end of the day they're saying yo put your sword down Hey, yo, gal, put your sword down because count your blessings, seven of pentacles, everything that you guys have planted, every seed that you guys have planted within the last year, the last seven months, the last seven weeks, it's going to come to fruition for you guys. Start counting your blessings, Virgo, because at the end of the day, the, the angels are coming in to balance everything out for you. What these people try to take away from you, it's not, they're not going to be able to take anything away from you anymore. They're going to flip it. They're going to become the seven of sword. Everyone's going to see that these people are very sneaky and conniving and shitheads straight up, seven of sword. They're not going to be able to move forward anymore because they're careless with how they show energy and how they treat people. They're going to have no choice but to beg and fall onto their knees and surrender 
It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who could have been very much so mani emotionally manipulated. This is somebody you don't want to trust. This is somebody who's capable of looking you dead in your eyes and telling you that they love you when they fucking don't. And then the tower comes in right behind them. This person has a whole lot of shit coming towards them because they want to be a fake person towards you. Queen of Swords they are going to have no choice but to surrender and beg on the knees for being so careless. No, you're not moving forward towards this person anymore. And that's because they tried to take something from you that didn't belong to you, Virgos. Also... <sighs> there might be a cancer Pisces Scorpio here who might want to try and come back towards you but the, you guys this is people that you don't want to trust I, that's not something you guys want to trust in your energy cancer Pisces Scorpio a not successful person ace of pentacles in reverse this person is going to be suffering they're going to be going through bankruptcy here as well they're not going to be doing a whole great whole they're not going to be doing a whole great whatever that say a whole lot great <laughs> i'm tired virgos this person is not going to do great at all okay especially when it comes to their finances it's going to make them very much so upset maybe this person was doing really well financially before but coming into the future they're not going to be there anymore virgos because the only thing that this was on their mind was the fact that they don't want you to see you succeed they don't want you to have the nine of pentacles the star card you are a star the song keeps coming up to reach for the stars put your head head up high for tonight because every night you're a superstar superstar <laughs> so don't you be afraid look at all the friends you made <laughs> Because when you're in the Nine of Pentacles, you make a lot of friends. Because everyone's gonna love being around you. The energy that you put, the energy that you put out into the world is so vibrant, so high frequency that everyone's gonna love that energy about you, Virgo. Nine of Pentacles, all right. Uh, at the end of the day, if there's gonna be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio who's gonna try and come towards you, it's not gonna be successful in any way, shape, or form. Because this person here has bad intelligence with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. They don't know how to invest. They don't know how to harvest they don't know how to make shit happen for themselves at the end of the day they are going to try and reach back out to you eventually virgos but they might not be very much so it's like complete ending it's like done it's done and over with and even when it's done and over with they're still going to be reaching back out towards towards you guys right and then the seven of wands defensive energy and they don't know what to do so all they're going to do is sit there and spy on you page of swords you're going to have gemini libra aquarius cancer pisces scorpio these people are going to be spying on you, watching you to see what's going on. But coming into the near future, Virgos, you're not going to be emotionally satisfied or happy anymore. Six of Cups in the future, you're going to go silent. You're going to turn into hermit. And when you guys do this and you take away your energy from every person, place, and thing that does not serve you, you isolate, you surrender, four of swords. Okay, fine. The universe, you know what? I surrender to you. Just do what you need to do and help me figure this out for that they come in because humans have free will so when you ask spirit for help ask angels for help they come in they're gonna bless you ace of cups oh it's so cute ace of cups right they're coming in virgos the angels are coming in to help you guys somebody here is gonna find a white white feather as well it could be anywhere i just saw under the bed virgos i saw on the bed here too somebody here is gonna find a white feather anywhere in the home around the house out of nowhere and when you guys do find that white feather that's your angels coming in to support you and help you, especially after the fact that you guys asked them for assistance. At the bottom of the deck, I got the hangman. Yeah, Virgos, you guys have sacrificed so much. You guys have been still for such a long time because you guys have gone through so much pain here. But you guys are going to get the realization and the clarity that you guys need that new beginnings are going to be coming towards you. It's time to put an end to things that do not serve you anymore and it's going to become a death to a rebirth. A death to a rebirth, Virgos. You guys are... Re reborn you guys are literally becoming as a reborn person again because everything that you guys have been through it's it's okay that you guys are going to find a way to break through all of those stuff i just heard generational curses virgo some of you guys are literally breaking out of generational curses here as well and once you guys do that picture everything gonna things are gonna start pick, uh, picking up for you guys much more faster i'm so sorry virgo i'm so so tired please forgive me uh eight of cups a lot of you guys are gonna start seeing the numbers eight 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 everywhere you guys go it's gonna be the form of eight 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 or eight 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 <laughs> Eight eight eight. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, eight of cups, ten of swords. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Virgos. I almost fell asleep. Okay. So, uh, during the full moon energy in the month of January, maybe January 15th, January 16th, however you want to call it, this is going to be coming in for you guys, Virgos, that... Anything that is going to be hurting you, somebody here is going to be walking towards the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Swords energy. We're going to be feeling betrayed, hurt, backstabbed, trapped mentally, not knowing what the hell is going on here. 
Uh, this person may have tried to bring destructive energy towards you guys, but you guys are trying to leave it behind, coming with the Eight of Cups, and you guys want to go towards your new beginnings, right? You don't want nothing to do with this energy here anymore. You guys are manifesting everything that you guys need here at the same time here, Virgos. But you guys might have a Capricorn who might be very much so obsessed with you guys. Some of you guys are manifesting a relationship with a new person here too. And it looks like it's going to end up working, Virgos. This might be your actual counterpart. This is a soulmate connection. Uh, they'll make sure that you guys don't become obsessed or lustful over this person, Virgos, coming with the, with the, with the devil card there. Um, at the end of the day, I do see a relationship coming in for you guys. It's saying that you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Maybe in the next two months, it might be coming in for you guys. But maybe right now, you guys are talking to each other, but shit's not working out for you by, guys. But maybe in the next two months, it will actually start picking up a lot more faster for you. Uh, Virgo, Gemini, Capricorn energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Taurus energy there as well. So it's going to take some time, but this person is going to be looking for marriage. They're willing to put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles there as well. And it will make you so much emotionally fulfilled and so happy here too. But you guys are not going to be saying anything about it. You guys are just going to continue to work and do and do your thing here at the same time. But it will definitely be a successful relationship. You guys have endured so much pain with the Three of Swords, but you guys don't say nothing to nobody with the high, with the high Priestess to the Three of Swords. You don't be telling nobody nothing, Virgos. You guys just mind your own business. You work. You focus on yourselves. And even with all the burden that you guys have, you guys continue to fucking live your life and be the beauty souls that you guys genuinely are. When it comes to your workplace, you guys are going to be going through so much work, so much work, so much work. Somebody here is going to have a pile of work on their desk and they're going to be late. Deadline, not going to make it. <laughs> That's okay. It's so cute, Virgos. You guys, you guys are hurt. Your heart broken. Fucking who the hell wants to work when they're heartbroken? Fuck all that, yo. <laughs> right? Eight of Pentacles. I mean, three of Pentacles, ten of Wands, and the three of Swords. Absolutely heartbroken. You're not saying anything to anybody. You're going to continue to lift your head up and go and focus on your own happiness. And even when you guys are heartbroken, you guys are still going to get do what you guys need to do to hustle. Somebody here is going to be having to work overtime as well to get the work done with the three of Pentacles to the ten of Wands. You're going to be so busy, Virgos. You're not going to have time to do absolutely anything. There might be a person coming in towards you guys. Somebody here might, might be working for the government. Uh, this may seem very mis very much so mysterious at the same time, but a cycle is going to be coming through. Yeah, there's going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person works for the government right here, Virgos. Uh, they have definitely have been thinking about you. They've been put in a lot of illusions and darkness regarding you at the same time. But the cycle between the two of you is not over as of yet. They're going to get the strength, right, uh, to come back towards you again because this person here sees you as someone who's very beautiful, uh, I do see you guys uh, reconciling here with this person Virgo at the end of the day. So do expect a message coming in from them. Uh, this person had to do a lot of healing as well, but they're seeing you as somebody who's like technically perfect or they're your perfect in this person's eyes here. So do expect a message coming in from them, Virgos, coming in with the Page of Pentacles. Ow. Ouch, Virgos. Somebody has pain at the back of their ear. Who is that? Let me know. Uh, expect the message coming in from this person, Virgos. They're going to express to you how they feel. Maybe even invite you out as well. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They still coming in as a playboy, playgirl. Uh, but at the end of the day, they're going to come to the realization that them acting like that is not going to get them anywhere. They know that them doing that has really gotten them nowhere, Virgos. But they are finding you very beautiful, very passionate. This is how they view you. You guys are going to have such a... Into a, a serious intimate connection when you come into contact with this person on an energetic field like this Virgos uh, somebody here as well when you guys do stuff with each other make sure that you guys are always protecting yourselves or at least protecting yourself before you end up actually doing something intimate with this person so that way you're not exchanging energies right uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius this person wants to come towards you but the thing is they have a lot of decisions that they're going to end up having to make so for that they're going to make a fast decision and the decision that they're going to make is the fact that they're going to want to be with you because you are their happiness this person's going to fight for you Virgos after the fact that they may have left you in the cold because they couldn't make up their mind with this as well right which is going to leave them very much so stressed out or this is going to be you guys and you guys are going to be looking at them like what the fuck is wrong with you like you're having to isolate yourself now to figure out like what's really going on. This is a divine masculine, divine feminine energy. But there is going to be balance coming in between the two of you guys. So for that, you're going to be pulling your energy back with the four of pentacles, isolating yourselves, going into hermit. While the universe does this thing to balance everything out between the two of you guys. But I do see that both of you guys are going to be stressed out at the exact same time. There's not, oh, he's going to be stressed out and you're going to be happy. No. They're stressed out. You're isolating yourself because you're stressed out. 
everybody's stressed out in this situation, but the universe is calling judgment with the justice card there. And they're technically going to balance everything out for you guys because this is supposed to be for you guys. This is a relationship that's meant for you guys at the end of the day. So make sure you think wisely before you pack up your shit burgers with the four of pentacles. It's saying here, do not cleave so tightly onto anything here. If something's not working out for you, yes, pull your energy back. No problem. Turn into hermit. But don't be so quick to put your energy back into a box when, when the universe is coming in and stepping in to balance everything out for you guys. Thanks, cuties. Bye.